We got five minutes or so, right? Okay. Yeah, it should only should only take seven.
and welcome to live stream or tales from the stream. I always fuck this up. Uh, <laughs> I am your host, Grant Lin Lindahl. Lindahl. Uh, and I am with my co host, Lucas. <laughs> Lucas, how are you doing today? I'm doing great today. Who I'm is feeling our... good. There's overcast outside, but I'm not feeling down. Yeah, you got the May Gray here in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, just love the gloom of it. Everything feels spooky uh, it, oh, with the, the palm trees. And our guest is, Lucas, who is our guest? And our guest today is Sean Barrett. Woo! Yeah. Sean Barrett. Awesome. This is what you get when you Instagram stalk people for six months. You get them to... <laughs> Uh, coming, <laughs> Sean's gonna be freezing and unfreezing through the phone. And I, uh, I also hear uh, the delay, and I don't even have the YouTube open, so I don't know why that is. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, which oh, is great. Lucas is. is okay, no, I figured it out. Yours? We're good. No, we're good. Okay, Excuse we're me. good. Okay. Yeah. I'm just stupid. I was like picking up mine. I was like, I'm not in the same room, am I, with Sean? <laughs> That's how we uh, start the the stream is uh, a little delay. Um, yeah, that, that chalkboard's closer than you think, bud. We're gonna open. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a, it's a doorway. You could just go through it into the next one. <laughs> He's your neighbor this whole time. Uh, do you like your neighbors, Sean? Uh, one talks to me. The rest look through me. One uh, had an unhealthy like. I woke up one day to like 60 text messages from her, like her confessing her love to me. Mm -hmm. And we had only talked like really just passing hello and, and goodbye. But I think she was just like having a manic break on me. But uh, for the most part, it's, you know, it's peaceful. It's fine. But, you know, nice. crazies like me. Huh. Well, uh, you know, I encourage you to pursue that relationship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, the worst part about dating a neighbor is they know where you are. So like when inevitably it will end, you have to move out. So one of you has to move out. So that's like the dare, it's the chicken. Right? Yeah. What's gonna happen? I don't point? know. Yeah, we'll see. It's it's very awkward running into her. Have you ever oh. dated a neighbor? No, no. I I know I know better than that. Yeah. Okay. yeah have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. No, no girl's gonna crazy or not. It's gonna be like, hey, that guy. Hey, man, you never at, know. At best, I look like a teacher of art, a college professor of art history. At worst, I look like I live with Sip my mom. Like <laughs> hey, man, there's there's someone out there for everybody. You never know. Yeah, you know, there's a mom for all of us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what uh, what'd you have for lunch today, man? I'm just going to throw you some um, curveballs here. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, not everyone will agree with my lunch choices, but I oftentimes, I have a 7-Eleven by me and I have a Chipotle, so it's mm. kind of one or the other. And the uh, the ravioli from the deli section, you have to heat it up at home. Like, I love it. It's so good. I think it's better than most Italian restaurants. And I cook it for eight and a half minutes to get the, the edges all like crusty and burnt, and I like, cut it up and put it in there. It's so good. I love it. 7-Eleven <laughs> cooking gourmand. Wait. Yeah, I, you know, I, I turn it up. All right, is that that's your... amazing? Oh wow! So, but is that in a toaster oven or in the oven? No, in the microwave. In the I microwave. could do it. I could do it in the oven oven to get yeah. like it more even. But I just have it down to kind of like a science now. It's so good. I love it. Hmm. What'd you guys have? Now I'm now I'm hungry for I that. Had a BLT. <laughs> okay. Pretty okay. good. But then I had to go to urgent care, and the doctor at the urgent care had two dogs. It was like a trendy urgent care. It was super weird. And uh, the dogs kept sniffing my pants and, like, licking the, the bacon grease off of my pants. Did they ask you if you were allergic? No, nobody was paying attention. I was just getting licked by this dog. And then the doctor, because he made us wait at the urgent care, offered us free B12 shots. Oh, Perfect. it's one of those, yeah, the little detox ones, yeah. <clears throat> it's the weirdest place I've ever like. Does this like a trendy urgent care? Is that a thing? In in LA, yeah. There's all the uh, like the vitamin doctors and stuff, yeah. Yeah, but that but it's a vitamin doctor, like not not like hey, go to urgent care where you could get like, you know, like you know things taken out of your head and it's, shit like that. Like they're it's like the oh same yeah, same place. It's the yeah, same place. it really is. No, in LA, it really is. It's the same. It's the same place, same building. Yeah, yeah it, it had that vibe, and I was like, what I the fuck my, is this? My video keeps freezing. Hey, when my video freezes, can you still hear me, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can still hear okay, you. Okay, that's, that's good. 
Yeah, I can still hear you right now. Yeah, Perfect. there you go. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know why. Huh. Yeah. Um. Maybe Lucas, can you look up? Yeah. Why that would happen? I don't know. Uh, like why? I, I'm gonna. I'm literally put this in Google. Why is Sean's video? <laughs> I uh, you know, I've, I've used Zoom. Oh, that's, that's not. Do oh, not really? put that in Google, by the way, because that ends up being a different quality of video. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, when you put why is Sean's video fucked, you're gonna get a lot of <laughs> interesting. That's a different um, site. Yeah, that's like that Tony the Tiger in the blue. Oh yeah, we looked up that uh, Tony the Tiger has a blue penis on one of our streams. Oh, uh, did you share your screen on it? Uh, not on this one. Uh, <laughs> okay, that, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Definitely uh, want to keep my job because uh, health insurance and of I course. want a false sense of security that doesn't yeah. Really exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the illusion <laughs> of it. Um, What's one of the first places you guys are going to go to when everything kind of opens back up and and you're able to go out? And LA is such a great place to get food and you know drinks and stuff like that. What, what is one of the first places you're going to want to go for like your standard lunch that you want to do? Um, man, I mean lunches you have lunches haven't really stopped here. Like the only place I kind of miss is Universal Studios. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, uh. I love Universal Studios. It's like what's the best. It's what's your amazing. favorite parts of? Uh, uh, I get nostalgic just for the um, the uh, the tram ride. I I, I love oh. it. I don't. I've seen it so many times. It's not new. And like the the little like video things where it's like kind of 3D. Put your glasses on. Are pretty awful. Especially like the Fast and the Furious ones. Really really bad. But I don't know. There's a certain charm to just how just awful it is. I it's just I love it. <laughs> I love if it so if you had to design a Universal Studios ride, uh -huh. and, and also chat. Please, I yep. want to see what chat's idea, if they had to design, I, okay, chat, I need you to look up a Universal Studios movie, same as you, Sean, you have to look okay. up a Universal's okay. picture, like one of the pro properties, and it pitch me a ride from it, like, yep. like it doesn't have to be that coherent, like, you're not going to get a deal out of it, but, oh, damn, okay. well. unfortunately, maybe you will, maybe this will <laughs> finally really go viral. But chat, please pitch me your Universal Studios ride. I'm trying to think like what is, uh, I, I guess, I want to go inside Vin Diesel, like Fast and Furious. Like Vin inside Diesel. his body? Yeah, yeah, but but it's like a race against his colon or something. That would be cool. Like you do like magic school bus inside Vin Diesel's butt or something. Yeah. Because he'd be like, he would be like, no, no, there'd be that whole like, trying to go against it and then he gives in and at the end he realizes he loves it and they come out your mouth at the end yeah yeah like a changed man yeah you go inside Let's his see. mind and there's just like a bunch of weird shit and like all his have you ever seen vin diesel's like karaoke videos on youtube no um no i've, I've heard his like song from like a year ago that, where he does like the like the little froggy voice i haven't seen that oh dude it's it's great he has like a oh. ton of what were you going to say, Lucas? No, no, we got a couple of different ones here. Uh, the Shrek Shart, I think is what's called. <laughs> That's what they were really here. Okay. Uh, and Scarface the Ride. That seems like the Scarface, is, Scarface experience would be fun. Oh, that would be damn. interesting. Um, eight Mile the Bus Trip. Um, <laughs> yeah, something with Tremors. You guys remember? You ever seen Tremors? Yeah, I love oh. Tremors. That would be great. That would be so fun. Well, imagine Tremors if you had to do awesome. a VR one where you're not a VR one, but like a 3D one where you're uh, you're a grab a grub what's it graboid grabzoid or whatever and then they're you're under the under the ground and then you have to come up and eat Kevin Bacon. <laughs> oh, that'd be <laughs> sick! And then you could have like a little um, cantina right next to the ride, and it would serve like different Kevin Bacon themed bacon food. <laughs> I love it. I'm in. It's a graboid. Sorry, I have to. I just had to make that correction. I'm sorry. You have a better memory than me. I I can't remember character names or song names or anything. I'm impressed that you can even recall that i think i recently saw it no i didn't but i recently thought about it <laughs> I would about want, you know like how they have like the water world stunt show there yeah yep yep, yep. somehow that's still I, going i want to just take that and like show up on day one of like rehearsals and be like you're not doing water world anymore we need to <laughs> revamp this ride to be eight mile keep it like, oh yeah all the stunts <laughs> it's the on same, the water we have to like you have to like, yeah, because like they're in Detroit, so they're by one of the Great Lakes, right? Yeah. So so boom, there's the water, and then like you just need a train track across the to the, the other side of Eight Mile, and then like rap battles on jet skis, 
it's it's awesome i think that's, I can... a, that's a legitimately very good idea like you'd never get any money for it or get it to be made but if you did it would be successful i appreciate that man i would just i would mix that with the purge Ooh, <laughs> man, a purge ride would be pretty good a purge ride <laughs> Sounds like a purge escape room. That's what I would do. That would be fun. Like the little universal like Halloween haunt things. Yeah. Purge escape room. That would be great. <laughs> what do, I'm trying to think like the most mundane. Okay. I got to look up universal. Uh, universal. Got to come original trailer park syndrome. Okay. So this is. So, okay. If the chat's not familiar, uh, mm -hmm. universal does like a haunted house. Like they build like these elaborate haunted houses. Um, every like uh all right sorry i'm like pulling up they have it by different decades so i'm just gonna pick movies from like the 70s uh but they do different haunted houses based off their properties and uh i i want to do like the most mundane uh, universal haunted houses for horror nights <laughs> uh let's see i don't even know what half of these movies are from the 70s like this one movie is called twins of evil Okay. And then right. uh, sometimes a great notion. Like, uh, okay, I'm going to go to even. Present sometimes a great <laughs> notion. Yeah, awesome. Sometimes in the title, not. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 I've got like more relevant movies. Okay. You're going, you're going to Universal Studios yep. for a spooky okay. Halloween evening. And these mm -hmm. are, they, they hired me to create all the haunted houses there based off of Universal Picture Properties. All right. The first one you come up to, Sean, is the movie Leap Year. Okay. Based, okay. It's based, oh my God. Have you seen that movie? Do you know that movie? Leap no, year? no, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's like, you lost it's me about Leap the movie though. Leap Year. Okay. <laughs> and and basically, it's this girl who like wants her boyfriend to marry her in Ireland or in, or propose to her in Ireland on Leap Day, because or she can propose, because in Ireland on Leap Day the ladies can propose, because what? if, if really? you if yeah, because if a lady if you're Irish and you're a lady and you propose not on Leap Day you explode, so like that like so oh. she she doesn't want to <laughs> yeah. explode yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, right, that but, that true fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. They, it's part of the Irish DNA. Uh, I can say that because I took a DNA test and found out that I'm like 12 percent Irish. Anyway, okay. uh, so you go through that. And it's like really spooky because most of the time you're just in this back of this car where two really boring white people just argue about like mundane things and it's just really quaint but also kind of spooky um so so you're tortured with that and then i'm gonna give you one more and then uh, i want to hear what your universal ride will be um i think i think we would do i'm just gonna pick one at random i'm gonna scroll through i'm gonna do a dog's purpose you're gonna do oh, man. <laughs> or okay. a, a dog's purpose, um, and uh, you find out that the dog's purpose is to actually lick the lick your tears, uh, but you think that it loves you, but really it just likes the salt. So that's that's the real terror. Of that. It needs it needs it to survive, so it's constantly making you cry and then licking mm -hmm. your tears at the same time. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a vicious cycle. It's like lick, bite, lick, bite, lick, bite. It's terrifying. It's so it's sad. Right. I can tell you're really spooked, Sean. Yeah, very, very, very spooked by by all of that. You got so spooked, you froze. I think I think, I think we got some. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll change it. I think we got some real money moves here. What do we got? Do we got anything from the chat? Uh, let's see. Uh, there's an Evan Almighty reference in here. Um, <laughs> somebody, uh, I'm Shaw. Says they, they, they filmed a dog's purpose in my city. And legit abuse the dogs. I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I remember, didn't know I remember that. that. I remember that clip. Yeah, no, no, no I saw that. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so that. sorry. We, yeah, don't, we like, don't approve like of dunked, any sort of. Dunked it in water. We do not stuff. endorse that. I picked it yeah. up. I don't endorse that movie. Um, That's actually why it's such a scary Halloween haunted night. Good <laughs> so save. Yeah. You just play that clip. <laughs> yeah. Um, God, man, there's, like, there's all kinds of things. I, yeah, I ha you know, I've actually, truth be told, I haven't been to Universal Studios before. I have not been. And I've been living here for for a little bit, and I still have been have not gone to Universal Studios. It's I've been the, to Disney, but yeah, Disney's cool, but it's like more of like a thing. It's hard. It's like harder on you. you it's also I mean? a commitment, right? Like it's you have commitment. to go all the way to Anaheim, exactly. and then you go in. Like and it's Universal's an engagement. Like yeah. in my like backyard, like it's like a six dollar Uber. 
Yeah. You, know, you can, you know, walk around with a beer. You can just go in, go out, whatever your little pass. It's like almost the same price of uh, like a one day ticket. It's great. It's so easy. Oh, uh, man. But I, I really do wish they just like made everything the purge. I love the purge. So <laughs> I made like, everything the purge. Yeah, my ride would be just like that Harry Potter world one, but then at the end it just switches to the purge, but you don't know it. Like, the, like, the time goes off. Like the, he's like, all right. The time, yeah, everything puts on the math. The purge. The and then like that purge alarm sound, you know, but like <laughs> you think there's something actually wrong in the park, but you signed a waiver ahead of time, but you didn't realize it. It just like, starts out as like, dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yes, because that that alarm is scary, man. Mm. Yeah, it's the same alarm that they would um, set off in my hometown when the local <laughs> volunteer fire department would go out. So instead of like, a, oh Jesus, it'd be like an. Oh. Eh. <laughs> so let you know, like you might not be safe because these guys aren't as trained. It, yeah, basically, <laughs> it was like all yeah. like the hillbilly locals. Uh, Great. <laughs> But like uh, before that, I lived in in Missouri where we had like a lot of tornadoes, and so the same sound that they used for the local fire department in Maryland was the same siren that they used uh, for tornado warnings. And so every time we heard that, we thought a tornado was coming. Oh jeez! <laughs> Went to the basement because <laughs> that shit would get real. Like we had like our windows yeah. blown out and stuff. Like as a kid, it was like Fuck. that's terrifying. Oh man, you're looking pretty cool. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, hey, man, man, looking very like almost like a Naruto ver whatever ah, version. I like very, it. Very like an anime, anime version. I like. Have it. you been yeah, an, into any anime recently? No, I uh, I never got into anime. Not because I saw some when I was turned off on it. I just like yeah. haven't ever watched any. Mm. Um, someone I... told me to watch like Fooly Cooly or something to like try to get into it. I don't know if that's a good suggestion or a bad one, but that one's good. It's a, yeah, it's a cool one. Um, yeah. I feel like you should get into like super into anime when you're like <laughs> 73. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna leave all of my all of my possessions to Naruto. <laughs> like what? Yeah. <laughs> to my to my love pillow that. <laughs> and my uh, house goes cool. to Goku. You're like, hmm, that's not good. Grandpa had some weird ideas. <laughs> Grandpa, we really needed the money, but he gave it to someone who's not real. Gave it to Goku. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> That's like... why we named the dog Goku. <laughs> um, it actually just looks like a mug shot, like a, like a police sketch. <laughs> I mean, I don't have the friendliest resting face, so yeah. Yeah, I, I, it was actually nice meeting you for the first time because, like, seeing your resting face, I was like, is this guy going to be, like, <laughs> scary? Like, like, you seem really nice chatting on instagram and i was like well he could be really scared like, like, <laughs> like you just be like sitting there eating like i don't know weird nuts that you keep in your pocket yeah of course <laughs> just like but there's like blood on your fingernails and yeah he's like eating brazil nuts out of a of a white bowl and you're like what's happening and he's like after he's done with the brazil nuts he puts on the purge mask and he's oh, ready to go yeah, it's dude, like oh god move. What? It's like my dreams come true. Like, oh. yeah, pe people who don't know me definitely think I'm uh, I'm gonna be mean, but uh, I'm very well mannered and, and friendly. But, you're very uh, chill, dude. It's a nice defense. You're yeah. You're you're, you're like a poisonous flower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, on the all... on the street, when I take my walks, I'll always be like, hello, like, but like you know, like a nod or a hello, and like people just look through me. Ninety five percent of people just nothing back just oh wow it's this just... is like the face of uh no offense but it's the face no, of, no. like in a true crime documentary of a guy oh, yeah. that broke into the oh yeah i don't i don't you know i know there's some words you can't say on uh, on youtube that's definitely the face of uh, a guy that commits a lot of those kinds of crimes uh, yeah. I'm, ki I'm kidding man i'm i feel like i'm being i'm not no. i'm, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> To we give... should just slowly we at our break we should just slowly fade in on the like slowly zoom <laughs> in on this and then slowly zoom out again and slowly zoom back in again. that's the uh the opening of my documentary my 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 conversation with the night stalker to electric <laughs> oh man uh well speaking of of um like those guys that do those things on the internet that we can't say on youtube let's play true love yay <laughs> So uh, this is a new game. I always like to start out this show with a game that I kind of like made up the day before or like just pretty loose and see if it sticks. Into it. 
Um, so the New York Times, I believe it was the New York Times or like one of these websites posted 35-ish questions that if you ask your partner, you'll fall in love. And so we're gonna try to get Lucas and me to fall in love and get Sean to fall in love with us and we'll form a poly uh, relationship. <laughs> Beautiful, I love it. It's called a triad in the in the actual world, a triad. Yeah, where everybody loves each other equally and there is yeah. no hierarchy. Okay, so, but, but then- and Equally is subjective, but yeah. Yeah, that's it's why it never works. <laughs> but... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sean, are you single? I am. Are you ready to mingle? I'm ready. All right. Uh, what is our first uh, in chat? Uh, I'd love to hear uh, your responses, and if you by the end, if you fall in love with us, please let us know. Um, they yeah, call us cool. a thruple. That's what they call us. A thruple. Oh, I, I like a triforce. A triforce. I, I, I feel like I guess try is three, but force. Well, it's a negative connotation right there. But I feel yeah, like it does. That sounds, sounds like, like we're trying to make it work. <laughs> um, but hey, that's all. That's what. But, love but is, we're right? a pl Not powerful union. Yeah. Un un unit. Yeah, yeah, sure. Starting right. off great. I can really feel the love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first question is, uh, Sean, if you could invite anyone in the world to dinner, who would it be? Uh, I, honestly, probably Nicolas Cage. I think that would be great. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, like, what would you ask him? And where would uh, you take him to dinner? Yeah. Oh, man, that's a really good question. I would probably just get like uber eats and have them come like right here <laughs> i think that would be more fun so just because i feel like uh, i could get like a more real version of him out of that rather mm. than him at a restaurant and like feeling like he's got to kind of you know perform for the general public yeah. that are like just Hunt passively watching him yeah i i would just like start at i feel like it would be a weird conversation where we probably wouldn't hit it off but <laughs> but i guess that's not who who lucas come on who, have some confidence yeah well well, Lucas, who who would you who would you um, have dinner with? Man, that's a good question. Um, I th let me think for just a second. I I don't know who it would be. Uh, you know, it's I, I feel like I'm betraying everyone else that's in my mind right now. But somebody that's come to my mind for some rhyme or reason. I don't ask me why. Uh, the wonderful actor Danny Glover. Danny Glover, not Donald okay. Glover. Danny Glover. Um, I just saw a movie I, with him recently, and I was just like, God, what's up with Danny Glover nowadays, man? Like, I loved him as a Murtaugh. Like, I just loved him oh, yeah. growing up all the yeah. time. I, uh, like, of course, this is just in the moment. But yeah, Danny Glover. I'd I, yeah, I just, I just want to talk to him. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that's me. Well, can this person be dead or like alive? Yeah, or why not? Yeah, why not? Hmm. I'd probably do Abraham Lincoln, but he'd probably be like, what are nachos like the whole time? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like I'd be like, are you a racist? Are you gay? Like, are, are you just like, are you depressed? Are you like a cool dude? Like, what's up? Yeah. Like, you want to watch TV? And I think he would just constantly be like, nachos are this is spicy, and I'd I'd be like, that's salt. You put yeah. salt. And he's like, this salt's too salty now. I'd be like, wait. Why what? would you eat rocks? I'm like, what's happening? Very, very much like having a conversation with like someone with dementia, just from like just the period of time that's elapsed from you guys like you just would not be able to connect on anything oh yeah but the, i would love uh, to watch it the chat says alive johnny depp rebecca says alive johnny depp dead albert einstein oh those are good Ooh. ones oh and then somebody else says bjork bjork That'd would be, be fun yeah bjork like would be pretty be fun really quiet the whole time no i think she'd be pretty out there depending on what you serve i think maybe grimes Grimes yeah. would be kind of cool. I feel like Grimes would be fun to hang out with. I think so too. I got trolled once into thinking on April Fool's Day that there was going to be Grimes in a warehouse show, and I got really excited. Oh, uh, no, I love her so much. I'd be so excited. Yeah, hopefully one day you guys connect. I really wish yeah. really that. Yeah. You know, she's with Elon, so it's kind of a hard, <laughs> hard one to. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to last. Like, that's. I don't know. I, I I wish them the best, but I do too. Hearing his like weird, like, did you ever hear the thing that he like whispered to like his first wife at their wedding? No. Went so like apparently I watched like a documentary on Elon. He's not as good as people think. Like that's what I'm in the, just the last couple weeks. I'm just kind of coming around to yeah. He's not that good of a dude, but um, 
he apparently this is allegedly uh on when he was doing like the husband and wife dance at his first wedding uh he he whispered to her the, like the most incel thing he goes i'm the alpha now <laughs> like, like he whispered oh, that in her man. ear. Yeah. And I was like, ugh. Maybe, maybe it was uh, a joke? Maybe. Probably Dude. not. Dude's Could be. Pretty big meme lord, but yeah. You know, feel like... Hey, Hayden's in the chat. Hey, Hayden. What's up? Oh, sweet. Glad yeah, they're Hayden official said. girlfriend and boyfriend, so I believe it. Was That's <laughs> yeah. what he says. He believes in love. He doesn't, he doesn't subscribe to your negativity, Grant. Yeah, nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to the next one? Uh, yeah, let's let's do. The All next right. One. Would you like to be famous in what way? Uh, Would you like for, to be famous? Uh, only not famous in like uh, you know for doing nothing. It, I think it would be more for like um, kind of like ideas and trying to move like consciousness forward or, or something like that. Something uh, useful rather than like you know check out my swag dog. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. I, would I like to be? Fan? I think so. In what way? I don't. I mean, I hope. I just hope. I, I. It's hard for me to think of a way why I don't want to be famous. I just don't want it to be something dumb like he drank the most salt water and didn't die, like something right. stupid like that. Like I don't want to be. Yeah. Like he only lost his legs in the train. He didn't lose his whole body. You know, like I just. Like I want to be. Yeah, I, it's hard to be like, would you like to be famous and in what way? I don't know. What would you, would you like to be like a professional eater, Grant, or some, something like that? Like, like, would you like to be famous and in what way? Uh, I would love to just be Anthony Bourdain. I think he, has, uh, like, he had the coolest fucking life. Like, just be like, have like a really chill show where you get to do something fun mm -hmm. that isn't like a proponent, like just introducing culture or something. Like, honestly... I would like to just get make something that would like give hope to like kids in the sticks and like mm -hmm. just be like, hey, you can get because like most people like when you like work in TV or media and stuff, like they yeah. they're all like in the suburbs or like in the city or like they had some kind of affluence, but like a lot of times it's impossible to fucking get out of like living on like a farm or in the middle of nowhere. It's just too mm -hmm. hard. So like just making something that like would be like, hey, you know, you can get out of there too and it's just, like you can do it, you know, it's it's not easy, but something like that. And th that also like would the big thing for me is to make something that would be like kind of like find common ground between mm. like conservative and liberal America uh, mm -hmm. and just kind of because we don't have a lot of things that like really speak to both and I don't even know if that's possible but that's yeah, it is I don't know the yeah, answer I already think, I, I think it's that's definitely yeah. possible I, it's, yeah. I, it's, I it's barbecue so. that speaks to everybody, <laughs> yeah, buddy, so, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I take it all back if I was gonna be saying it'd be like to make good barbecue like great barbecue I mean amazing barbecue like if that was the thing you know, oh, do my yeah. mouse watering. So, so yeah, I, I want to change my answer. <laughs> Let's all Fucking become barbecue. Uh, barbecue evangelists and we just go to like, oh, you know, yeah. like protests and stuff and we just bring like people together and, and we're like, you can eat these ribs, but you have to sit across from. Yes. You know I mean? <laughs> That's a whole yeah. show. Yeah. Like a better version of that Heineken commercial that was like trying to bring people together. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> know that one yeah, kind of a deep cut uh oh. yeah but no i uh, i fully agree with you yeah cool. i think barbecue would be helpful in a lot of ways i think i think a barbecue could solve a lot of problems actually i, I think about it um yeah not not uh diabetes but <laughs> yeah. uh, it solves yeah, it problems in a different way maybe i don't know i mean it could, it could, it, could it makes you feel good i don't know <laughs> yeah, that's all self-control man i don't know but uh, we don't serve soda at our bar barbecue place so yeah no yeah. no soda just just iced tea iced sweet tea <laughs> yeah 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 with a ton of sugar and pecan yeah. pie with ice cream i don't yeah. you can't have barbecue without like Banana. peach cobbler and... oh man now I'm, I'm sorry. Now diabetes sounds like a prescription rather than a <laughs> symptom. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, all right, let's go to the next one. Sorry. Um, all right, Sean. Before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you're gonna say? Um, I used to. I used to have a a much harder time with like speaking to people and like anxiety and confidence and stuff. God, look at that. How I'm frozen there. Um, but now uh, I'm fixing it. But now, no, I uh, I, I generally don't. No. All right. Me? Do I? You know, I don't. I do the opposite. 
I say all the things I was supposed to say afterwards to myself. <laughs> and I feel like I should write a country song called I Just Settled Nothing With Nobody But Me. And it literally is like just me, just like I should have said all these things and then it would have been great. And then I feel good about what I said to myself. And then that's it. <laughs> then I, um, yeah, I think that's how it is. Grant, what about you? Um, no, I'm like a big, like I've done a lot of improv. When I was a kid, I had yeah. a lot of problems with it. Like I moved a lot and I was always trying to like create a new friend group and like invite. The worst thing for me was inviting kids to my birthday because they didn't really uh -huh. know me. Like they had like known these kids for like years and like I had moved to a new town. And so I would just like pull up like the directory and just call random kids and be like, oh, that's so come? sweet. And it was like, I would practice it and I would like write yeah. down like things I knew that the, like, uh -huh. they, we had like never talked. And so they, it was always really painful. And the older you get, it got kind of harder. But now, yeah. but because it was so painful, I am fucking fearless. I, I love um, telemarketers when they call me. Uh, I will just go forever like i i never run out of things now the big thing that i've been doing now with telemarketers is i pull out the recorder and i try to get them to listen to a full song and i'll tell them that i'm gonna like give them my like social security number and then i'll yeah. be like but i'll sing it first and then i'll play like I'll try to play like amazing grace like i'll pull up like the sheet music and it's awful but you're talking about scammers you're not talking about like real telemarketers who scam are calling you to like actually sell something right legit like scam. a thigh master or something, uh, a well, legit scam no person. yeah it's always uh the, i keep getting this one call and it sucks and they keep saying uh, cause I have a Maryland number. They keep calling me and they keep going, uh, Hey, you've won a free, uh, like week at a Marriott hotel. Uh, Let yeah, me transfer those, yeah. you. And so then they transfer me to like a dude in like India or some shit. And I go, Hey, uh, I'm super into this. Um, and he's like, <laughs> Oh, what's your credit card number? I go, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to see how long they'll stay on. <laughs> That's always been really fun. Wow. Cool. <laughs> That's amazing. That's my rant. Yeah. yeah. Rock on. All right. Let's, uh, shall we go to the next one? Yeah, let's, let's do it. it. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Here we go. And Sean, what would constitute a perfect day for you? Uh, Ooh, that's pretty hard. Actually. God, that, that is hard. Um, hmm. honestly, I'd probably just spend it by myself. Really? Uh, like by yourself in your apartment, by yourself yeah. at Universal Studios, oh, God, by yourself at the Purge reasonable. at Universal Studios? Oh, you know what? You know, I think we'll take um, maybe, you know, some mushrooms at Universal Studios. Ah, I very think good. Would now, would you, would you pay someone to be like your, would you pay an Uber driver to drive you there and then be the person who is like making sure you don't jump off something after taking mushrooms at Universal Studios? Uh, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with, uh, you know, the dose and whatnot. So no, okay. I think I'd be okay. I would probably bring a friend. Um, uh, a non-annoying one, and uh, it would be great. Yeah, no, I think that I think that'd be lovely. We'll, we'll nice. go to Universal, you know, we'll trip out a little bit, we'll, we'll enjoy our day. Are you, do they have um, like the characters walking around at Universal? Yeah, they do. Yeah, Beetlejuice out there. You got the oh. minions. You got. Uh, are you worried about those? You got Hello Kitty. I'm. I think that would scare me if I was on mushrooms. Like I would be. I'm already kind of scared of them. Dude, I, I do pretty good with that. Like, I went and I did a bunch of mushrooms at, uh, in Vegas with friends, like, on the strip and everything. And everybody was, like, freaking out because, you know, Vegas, like, you, you think you're tripping out. You're seeing, like, you know, a one-armed disproportionate man. But it's, it's really, that's just how he looks. Uh, <laughs> and, like, uh, and I don't know. I, I loved it. I, I, I don't know. I, I can handle the, the terrible stuff. I like oh, it. Wow. So, do, do you, so your reserve gets steeled as you go. Like, you... You 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 get more focused when you're actually, or no, not more focused, but you feel a lot more conviction and calm when you're taking mushrooms. Is that what's happening? Yeah, I mean the world's already what it what it is. I'm not uh, going to change it. Like uh, I don't know, I'm not like worried about someone like you know attacking me or something. Though it would be very. It's like being on the inner tube of life. You're just you're yeah, okay. you're just you know like, yeah. it's it is what it is. You can't change it. But uh, oh, no, that's it's, amazing. It's always it's always fun for the most part. Uh, <laughs> I love this drawing so much. I'll send Bar barbecue, you. yes. <laughs> Rebecca says that going for a, pr a plane ride in a in a Piper on or Cessna, uh, island hopping down in the Keys. Wow, that's I mean that sounds fun. <laughs> that's that's a lot. Really that's too much for me. Yeah. Yeah. Trips, wow. Really I mean, like... I mean, why are you hopping around on these islands? Is there do you have something in this plane that we should know about? And like, 
No, that's why? the only way you can get to a lot of them down in the keys. You have to. No, take... I'm talking about like, what's your cargo? Is it you, or do you have multiple keys of other things? Yeah. Like... Why? Why so many trips in one day? Yeah, and like. <laughs> You're trying to get tips on how to smuggle. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not telling you how to smuggle, but I'm just saying. Um, no. Well, great. Well, Grant, what about you? What's your perfect day? Mm. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> He's like urgent care. Yeah, urgent uh... care with a couple of. <laughs> Hmm, uh, probably my perfect day. I don't know. Universal on trim sounds really fun. If we'll, we'll it do could it. be you okay. Yeah, yeah, d d definitely. Uh, I don't know about mm. Fright Night. I think that would scare me too much, uh, but uh, I could chill out with uh, some Harry Potter. I'd, I'd definitely make Harry Potter World way better. Um, I yeah. try to think. I'd probably go. I love Hawaii. I have like a big. I've gone to Hawaii like several times uh, throughout my my like every age group. Like since I was like a little kid to like when I was like teenager to adult. So I would probably go to this one part of Oahu and probably do mushrooms and swim with uh, turtles. Um, oh, that's just, wow. I, I love yeah. the sea turtles and there's this uh, turtle bay on and it's kind of like in this kind of um, shitty part of um, Hawaii, which means it's really nice, but there's like nothing there other than like a bunch of locals that kind of hate you, but it's like kind of a cool spot. Yeah. And there's just like these really beautiful, like the turtles just come up to people's backyards and you can just kind of swim around. It feels really spiritual and stuff. So oh, that's, that's nice. Awesome. That's what I do. That does sound nice. That does sound I nice. I just love them. They're just so peaceful and chill and you need to save them. Yeah. You know? mm. Is that how you want to be buried? You know how like Vikings get into a ship and then they burn them? Would you like to like just be in the water and then you are then like attached to a bunch of sea turtles as they take you out to the ocean? You know, <laughs> I want to be like, cremated, uh, bro. Like I don't, uh, I don't want my body to get decomposed. It's gross. I see. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's gross. Just burn me up. Just, just burn you, and then yeah. I'm cool with that. I would rather just be like a neat pile of ashes than like things eating me. Yeah, mm. yeah, I, I think I'll probably go with cremation too. Yeah, or, or like shot into space or something. <laughs> mm, shot into space. Yeah, you have to be. I think you have to be ashes. I think they, they do that. I think they put you in space now. I think they will. They'll shoot you into space at some point. Um, they'll take your ashes and put you into space. That's what they'll do. I'm into it. I think I don't. I don't know if I mean. Look, I hope that's what they're doing. I hope they're not just putting a bunch of stuff in something and hopefully getting yeah. it into orbit. I my, hope that's the uh, case. Yeah. My favorite cremation. Uh, of a person, which I only have one. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm like, quite, a, quite a statement, yeah. <laughs> what Reddit have you okay. been on, dude? Like... This is uh, this is one of my first eight questions is, uh, what's your favorite cremation? <laughs> yeah. uh, mine, is, did you ever hear about the guy, the inventor of Frisbee golf? Like, I love Frisbee golf. Or, or maybe uh -huh. it was just the Frisbee. I think it was Frisbee golf, though. Um, he... Tur he had when he was cremated he had his ashes turned into frisbees and then he had his oh. whole family play a game of frisbee golf uh with okay. his, his ashy frisbees. is everybody just kind of tearing just <laughs> i love it i want everybody yeah. to get drunk play some frisbee golf it's chill as fuck like yeah that's the way to go man no that sounds cool i don't know what would you want your ashes turned into uh Oh, maybe like some YouTube prank. Just give it to like the worst YouTube prankster and make people eat it. Oh, you mean like bake it into some bread? And it's like, look yeah. at this guy made you those very like, famous uh, bread. It's really gritty. And he's like, yeah, it's good. And it's like, you just ate him. You just <laughs> ate Sean. <laughs> you just this guy. You're on. You just ate Sean. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> you have like, you have this many ashes, this many seasons, and they just keep doling you out. Oh, yeah. Take, you like you like take over a Trader Joe's. You put it in all the samples, and you're like, <laughs> you're like oh, you can you could milk that for a while till the felonies caught up. It oh gets, my god! It gets really popular, and uh, Sean gets cloned. Like oh, they're god. like, oh, we have to clone. It's like, well, it was a good season, and they're like, we need more. We need, we need more, more content. Sean. We need more ashes, dude. <laughs> And yeah, the, and, and they then, start burning all of your possessions. <laughs> <laughs> it gets it gets so popular that they start using clone Sean ashes to 
start producing more products like like you have you know like how they had like the travis scott burger there's uh -huh, the sean uh -huh. barrett burger with your oh man so for I mean, real we're, we're for headed real, that sean. way i mean we're already getting desensitized to like be okay with that i, I could see it happening season mm. finale you find out that you because humanity is obsessed with consuming your ashes that you have your dna in like 40 percent of the world population Oh man, I wonder where that, oh. what happens to my consciousness if I just like kind of like collectively take over everybody's minds or what? That'd be cool. Oh wow. People just start having dreams of what you dream of, of That'd like. Be cool. I have crazy of dreams. That'd ravioli, microwaving <laughs> ravioli. <laughs> microwaving <laughs> ravioli. <mouth> watering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's do this next one. Um, I don't know, but when did, the, when did you last sing to yourself and to someone else? I mean, I literally sang to somebody earlier, like maybe before the stream. So, <laughs> like, right uh, the stream. you know, I, 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 I couldn't tell you. I'm not. I like karaoke doesn't work for me because I even singing poorly isn't good or funny. Yeah. Um, so that one, I, I just, I don't know. I can't, I can't yeah. think of that. Yeah, that's a hard one. Grant, when did you last sing to somebody or, or to yourself? I sing on the daily, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, my girlfriend secretly filmed. I don't like her posting them because they're embarrassing, but I secretly, I like sing, make up a song, probably when I'm bored or just walking around, just they're all insane. But my girlfriend ha films them when I'm not paying attention. And so she has a huge catalog of blackmail of like insane songs. Like I'll just be like sitting around being like, your butthole is a secret garden <laughs> and I want to cure your polio inside that anus, you know, Woo! and so she edits the, she's going to start editing the cuts of this. So uh, Shannon, uh, you get to hear that song. Um, that one's for you. So. Yeah. Make me a ringtone. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> for your birthday, maybe. All right. And then the next one, if you were able to live to the age of 90, and retain either the mind or body of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your this is too fucking complicated 90, so next, then I'm, uh, I'm going on to the next one do you have a secret hunch about who uh, how you will die that's a better one uh i feel like i'm gonna get hit by a car to be honest okay. like i always have that like weird intuition every time i like cross the street mm. hmm. Just hit by a car with it not a truck just like a car like will you roll over or fall or go under you think uh well, I'm I mean, sorry, I'm like, the, give me no, details. No, no, no. There's, there's that, and there's also the fantasy that I'll know what to do, which is like jump into the car so you can kind of roll, roll it. I see. Um, but no, I think I'll just get like splattered, like under, like dragged. Mm. You know? Jeez. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> Great like content. Fifteen yeah. seconds, and, and the driver's like purge mask. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it continues. Wah. Uh, people just say in the chat, uh, heart attack in sleep. Yep, nice. that's a that's a viable one. That's Grant, just what do you a think? Fan that, favorite. How do you think? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> get creative. We all know it's coming. No, uh, Grant, what do you think? Your your uh, secret hunch about how you're gonna die? Mm, probably get killed by like a Russian gang, you know? Mm. Just like quickly. No. Okay, <laughs> like probably like owe them money, <laughs> torture. Yeah, yeah. My brother <laughs> probably did something bad and they yeah. kidnapped me. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's it's could be anything. Pro Ever pro seen Eastern Promises? Yeah, I I love the tattoos. Hot that thousand. Me the other fucking scary. Yikes! Yikes! Um, I I don't know. I'm pro probably uh, assassinated. Definitely, yeah. probably. How, how, how if you could if you could script your own death, like what would you do? Just any death, like a per like uh, like as like a prank death, like as yeah, like a, it doesn't matter. Like oh, you're like oh, you know, I I really hope I you know like I how get would you shot into the out? sun, like whatever you know. Like so. Ideally, go out in a, yeah. a spaceship into the sun. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, John, what about you? Uh, I would I just go to the the hospital and be like, yeah, just like. Give me a bunch of stuff that makes me go to sleep and then just yeah kill me i don't, I don't care like, probably, probably, i don't want to i don't want to uh, feel it i don't want to know out of my mind peaceful. on like yeah, out of chemical my mind, for sure. grade lsd and uh, i would want to do something heroic while tripping my mind out 
Uh, so, I don't think you'd care at that point. Probably like take one of those tour or, or go with Vice. I'd convince Vice to do another <laughs> one of those stupid shows with the Globetrotters. And I would take like a like a, a like ungodly amount. I'd like just take a bottle, like a seven up bottle filled with like acid and just chug it like in the movie oh, Good God. Time. Yeah. <laughs> like put it on my eyes and then I would just attack like Kim Jong un <laughs> <laughs> and like just kill him. <laughs> like oh, and, like Jesus. definitely that's how it'd go out. Because like even if they like torture me or whatever, I'd be out of my mind. Like yeah, I'd yeah, be gone. Yeah. So that, yeah. That's what I would do. Start Hayden World says World. he'd like to die from eating too many pop tarts, and I, yeah, I mean, and you're not choking on them; you just eat too many. Is that what you mean, Hayden? I hope it is. I'm not a big heartburn guy. I don't know. Oh like no, no, pop tarts maybe not be the best for that one. But uh, well, very good. We have scripted your own desk. Name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. Uh, so Sean, it's to us too. Yeah, Sean that's, and Lucas. Yeah. What? Yeah, like how do you name three things you you and your partner appear to have? What do we have in common, Sean? You and I. Yeah, and uh, Grant essentially because this is yeah, a triad or a triforce. So. Yeah, you got to include me if we're going to be poly. We're all talking to metal <laughs> microphones. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So there's one. We all have facial hair. Yes. Uh, okay, now I get it. Things that we definitely have in common. Well, yeah. uh, well, Lucas, you and I have chalkboards. I don't know about Grant. That's but, true. Uh, chalkboards, facial hair. No chalkboard. Uh, Hold on, I'm frozen. Let me unfreeze myself. Uh, I think we all probably like the movie E.T. Yeah. I like E.T. Um, ah, see, he doesn't like E.T. Okay. I don't hate okay. it, but I'm not. That's why we're just it. subjectively equal in this, you know, relationship. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, that's, uh, you know, we all uh, are, we all have the common goal of, you know, wanting to be happy. Yeah, I want to be happy. A little, yeah. little, little boring, but, you know, um, is that three? Yeah, that's three. We all like Mr. <laughs> Hanky. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's good enough. Um, oh, Hayden, by the way, says, oh, yeah, mustaches. Yeah, well, yeah, facial hair. That's right. Yeah, we all, we all, we all got mustaches, yeah. We all yeah, have dick piercings. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I couldn't imagine getting one of those. Jesus. <sighs> Yeah. All right, great. And you don't want to you don't want to get for our bonding ceremony a Jacob's ladder where we all lace the Jacob's ladder together. Oh Jesus! Yeah, and I'm we down. hum the same note. And I'm down. <laughs> so we thread. Oh up. no, Sean's down. We can still hear you though. Oh, you're back. Uh, oh no, I meant I'm down as in I'm, I'm into it. I was. Oh, you're yeah. down. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was yeah. like, <laughs> Sean, uh, Lucas, don't leave us hanging. We need Hanging. <laughs> well, I mean, well, if everybody's doing it, then maybe. Relationships yeah. are about compromise, Lucas. Well, yeah. I don't know if that really equals my love language, but I will say it's it's an interesting thought. Yeah. Um, uh, if you could wake up tomorrow having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? Uh, gosh, well, it would be for my... Probably for my like Zoom video to work constantly. Um, uh, if I could be, uh, I mean, it would be great to be a psychic in a way that's not like intrusive upon my life. Um, like, I kind of want to hear everybody's thoughts at once, but like you know, just kind of picking up if someone's lying or not. Oh, so like reading minds or like yeah. or like, would you like it to be a sense or would you like to like hear it as a VO in your mind? Uh, I don't want to, I know, I think the VO would like get to me and I would just convince I was having some sort of like manic delusion. I think I'd, I'd rather have just like the, the instinct of, of it, mm -hmm. which I feel like I'm already kind of there. I got that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but that'd be good. And then, yeah, again, this is just having my Zoom video work. Oh, man. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it at the break. It's coming up pretty soon. We, we take a break around eight and then uh, we'll throw the camera in the garbage and maybe it'll come back uh, yeah. it's not, it, it comes back enough it's fine yeah grant what would you like to have the ability to, to wake up as uh probably just speak spanish like fluent ah very like, good I, I can hear it and i know what like mostly what's going on but i can't like it's too intimidating so like i feel like uh fluent fluent language or like just languages in general would be pretty dope uh yeah i don't know what about you man you took uh, languages as it was a good one. Shit, that would be really amazing. I think the ability, I, I, the, here's the, I really wish it was a, the, the abil I had the ability to stop time uh, and then and then like spend as much time as I wanted in a, in a space before I let 
progress happen again. So like then I could learn Spanish or learn all the languages, stopping time and learn them all and then come back and be like, would you age yeah. though? No, that's, that's the, yeah. Maybe the quality is also not aging in that time. So yeah, that's what I would love to do. Like be able to stop time, you know, know what to say or do work it out and then move forward. I think that'd be fun. I like that. I'm looking Might be a prison in my own mind, but whatever. And then you free like the, the, the that's actually a film, right? Like you've been stopping time all his life. He's always said the perfect thing, and then he forgets how to you know unstop time, and he's stuck in time. Like <laughs> yeah, that's what I the mean, fucking it's, movie's it's about. Gonna catch right? up to you. Yeah, like, starring Danny Glover. At, no, I, I told. I think I told Lucas this, but I don't think I've told Sean. My mom. Uh, for a while, uh, would leave her romance novels right. around the house, like, like her dirty call. ones. And I found one where it was a guy who could stop time and bang anybody. Oh, and that's yeah. very R wordy. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, very yeah. Uh, problematic. And yeah, like, don't I, don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> it was weird, but then like they wouldn't remember, and it would like reverse. oh, even worse. Yeah. It was like a, like basically like a date rape time traveler, yeah. but it was like supposed mm. to be sexy. It's what my mom was reading. Though. Yeah, I don't no, no, not I'm not endorse this. You're no, just no, yeah, you're no. just like hands off. This is what yeah. mom had checked out from the public library. This, yeah, like, yeah, this is what my mom was reading in like 2006 and like left it out and it was super weird it was like really like intense too <laughs> and don't you don't you put that negativity on my ability that i like i don't like this this is going in the wrong direction <laughs> I'm just, sir <laughs> i'm just telling you lucas don't get it fine that is not cool i'm going in a i don't like that ability anymore uh, i'd rather have no ability than to be <laughs> lumped into those people <laughs> i know what i would stop those people because i could stop yeah time too. lucas i know yeah. you would i'm time gonna find those people that are groping Don't give up on your you know dreams. people yeah i know that's terrible anyway moving on <laughs> <laughs> my mom that's was just... like so mortified when i found it i was like what is this like I was. oh you reading. confronted her yeah <laughs> so, oh so i was like mom, what are you reading? i walked downstairs and started reading it out loud <laughs> got so mad and she pretends like it did, never happened and i was like what uh, happened man yeah. oh hayden actually has a really good uh, uh inciting incident here he, about the about the stopping the time and not unstopping it is like what if you stop time right before the character is about to die and then and then you just you just don't unstop time because you can't resolve it like there's no way to get out of it so you're just stuck in limbo and you're just like that's my life walking around and it, yeah Mm. Uh, yeah, I think out. it ends though. <laughs> Just wander forever in the moment before trying. Yeah, I guess so. That's a bummer. It's getting sad. <laughs> Take me out. Um, uh, a couple more. I think uh, this is going really slow because there's like 36 of them and we're only on 14. Yeah, we can this... we can s speed through them. Yeah, okay. Uh, 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 Sean, just let me know if it's like pass or answer, okay? Okay, okay I got, you, got you. All right, is there something that you've dreamed of doing for a long time? It, it just Is there something that you've dreamed of for doing for a long time and you haven't done it? Pass, no. All right, next. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? Pass, no. What do you value most in a friendship? Uh, honesty. There you go. Uh, Grant? Uh, 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 cool, cool shorts. <laughs> All right, uh, me's barbecue next uh, uh yeah what is your most treasured memory <laughs> uh God, fuck uh shit i don't know i don't hold on to anything i try to just go on it tomorrow uh don't have one <laughs> that's <All right>. sad <laughs> <laughs> grant one. do you have any me memories that you treasured besides uh, finding the uh, book from your mom <laughs> like, that was on the table. yeah the the weird erotica i found of my parents uh the, the, the one time my dad came home from a four-week trip and he ignored us and then went straight upstairs and then i heard my parents banging and it was really graphic and creepy that's your most treasured memory <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow treasured. it's wow. burned into my skull it's not a good yeah. treasured memory but it's You're treasured <laughs> It's treasured, yeah, well, right? Treasure is supposed to be positive, but okay. Okay. Whether you uh, feel it or not. Positive one. Um, maybe the w one time when my dad came back from another. No, I'm kidding. Oh no! Like, oh man! Don't it, judge that, that my treasure. No, no. <laughs> treasure. Don't, don't, don't judge my good. treasures. Okay. Oh, There's such uh, a, a treasureless proof. Yeah. What is your most terrible memory? Oh, hey, the one time I caught one, my huh? dad came back from a trip. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> um, and then here, uh, what, what does friendship mean to you? 
Sean? Uh, on, uh, you know, going back to like being honest and, yeah. and being, and you know, really being there for, you know, yeah. through the thick and thin and, and all that kind of stuff. Mine is uh, being able to share your water balloons. Grant, what about you? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I like that. Um, but <laughs> what was the question? Is it what does friendship mean to you? Honesty, just being there. Oh. Being, being, uh, copied mine word for word. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh my God. Do you feel it? We're so connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, and me, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, do, do friendship mean to me just somebody that's not an asshole? <laughs> that, a person, go. person who doesn't want anything from me, and like that, that they they will like enjoy hanging out, and they don't want anything from me. Because I think a lot of times when I hang out with people, they they want some me to like make them free shit, and a lot of times yeah, like a lot of parasitic sense. relationships as well. Yeah, Got it. it happens. Very transactional. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a All right, concept. this is uh. <laughs> All right, Sean, complete this sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could share what? Uh, my walks. Oh, that's so nice. Get a dog. <laughs> Grant, what he did? I wish I had someone with whom I could share. I mean, I I share everything with my girlfriend. Uh, my debt, my student debt. So <laughs> marry me, Shannon. <laughs> like take, take my other inherit family. my debt. <laughs> everything must be shared. You can't escape it, even if you go bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like my layaway fees. <laughs> All right. Um, God, uh, sorry. Some of these I, I have to go by because yeah, I'm pickles. not going to answer. Uh, share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. Oh, really? I think I think Grant already shared that with us. No, I got one. I got a good one. What's your embarrassing moment in your life, Grant? Uh, I was in a production of Annie. And this is the most embarrassing. <laughs> there thing. you go. You're done. <laughs> yeah, he gets worse, bro. Uh, I was like newsman number two. I was oh. in sixth grade, just moved to a new town, and, like, and uh, this guy was like going around asking kids if they had a dick or a vagina mm. and i oh, no. i um i panicked and said that i had a vagina <laughs> and so then uh he went oh shit and i went no no i have a dick and he's like no you said it and they're like we all heard it and then they all started singing uh vagina boy vagina oh, boy and then yes. from sixth grade to my senior year of high school i was called a different variation of vagina boy so for like seven years, it sucked. Oh, wow, that's uh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was wild, and that's it's completely shaped who I am today. <laughs> Damn, dude. Musical theater, man. Changed yeah. a lot. Wow, that's amazing. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of an embarrassing moment for me. I don't even think I could I could top that. Uh, Sean, what about you? Uh, I I'll try to make it short. So like I think I was like 22, 23. I was at this bar. There, there was karaoke. I don't do karaoke. Yeah. I was with two girlfriends. Uh, this, uh, the, um, the, uh, what do you, what do you call it? The, the door guy? I don't know what you call him. Yeah. He, he said to me on the shoulder, he goes, break another glass. You're out of here. And I, I hadn't broken a glass. And I was like, I, I didn't do that. So I just kind of ignored him, which is like, what, you know, hold on, let me fix my video. Uh, what you kind of want to do to people who are fucking with you because they want to, like, you know, uh, Show you their power and whatnot. I was like, I didn't break, I didn't break the glass. And then um, he just kept, he kept fucking with me. And then I was, and then I, I, I'll, you know, skip a bunch of stuff. And I kicked over the stool, and I was like, I didn't break the fucking glass. And then like a bunch of door guys came over, and they, uh, they came and they, they took me out of the place, and they said they were gonna break my arm, and then I ran away, and then no. they called the police and stuff. And then, but I got away, and then I went to this other bar, and I just started drinking because I had all this adrenaline. Um, and uh, sorry, I'm gonna video keep stopping here. Uh, and then I got, in, I got into like a fight with my girlfriend at the time. And I was like, don't, don't come over da, 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 after I get home. Like, just don't, don't come over. And I was like, oh man, mm -hmm. she's going to come over. I should go like sleep in my car. So the next thing I know, I wake up from like a blackout, uh, just on the street, completely naked, except for like a really small t-shirt. And this like runner dude comes up to me in the neighborhood. And he's like, what are you, what are you doing? I'm, and like, I'm just like, I'm like, oh, he's like, where do you live? I'm like, oh, oh. and then he like walks me home. It's already pretty embarrassing. And, uh, and then we get to the place and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. And he's like, and he's not sure if it's like actually like my house or not. And I like just jump over the fence because I have my keys. And then I wake up, this is just like blackout to wake up. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh man, what happened? And I can't see because I don't have my glasses because I wear contacts. 
I didn't have those. I'm like, oh, I got to find my car. I couldn't find my car. I go look for my car. And then, the, and then I don't find my car and I come back and the police are at the door. Uh, and, uh, and I just, I just kept going. I was like, they don't know what I look like, but the, the worst part was definitely the runner, um, seeing me naked. And then just like, just that, the alcohol regret, very embarrassing. Were you ever to cover, were you able to cover your shame at any point or were you just like, you I, know. I moved, I moved. <laughs> you just moved. I, I moved. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I had to move. I was like, you're technically in a relationship with that runner who was your neighbor, and you're like, nah, exactly, I get out of here. exactly. Yeah. I, I moved. Yeah. That was, that was did, uh, uh, wait, did you walk past the cops naked? Hey, no, I'd woken up. It was hours had gone by, and the cops came by in the morning when I went to look for my car, and I kind of had that like, um, uh, oh, what happened thing, and then I was like, piecing it together. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, and then I was like, I couldn't find the car because I. Hey, if I don't have contacts or glasses on, everything is a blur. Mm -hmm. But then I went to look for my car and I couldn't see. And then the cops were there and yeah, and I called my friend. I was like, what do I do? He was like, oh, just tell me you took Ambien. And like, I was like, oh, fuck, that's actually a pretty good idea. But they didn't come back. All right. Well, there you go. Damn. Perfect. There's one more question I think is appropriate to ask, but I don't think, I think we should, I'm just going to read it out loud. And I don't think we should actually answer any of it. Okay. It's okay. just the last one on this 30 second, 36 question in love situation, questions in love, share a personal problem and ask your partner's advice on how he or she might handle it. Also ask your partner to reflect back to you, how you seem to be feeling about the problem you have chose. <laughs> This is hard. Yeah, I don't know. My mind went blank on even listening. To yeah, I th yeah, I uh, think I think that was the game. <laughs> yeah. That was the game. Are we in love? What happened? I I feel love. I feel like we've we've With actually set a good base. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, that was fun. That was cool. We got a cool drawing out of it. You got a. Cool... <laughs> I love it. Nicholas Cage and you're me getting hit by a car, eating barbecue with a yeah. turtle. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get to draw. You should put a uh, turtle get impaled by a straw there. That'd be cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's so cruel. Yeah, it's uh, life, though. Yeah, we'll come back to it. We'll put yeah. this. We'll take this drawing and we'll put it on your book cover. Um, Perfect. So let's play. Uh, do we want to take a? Do we want to take a break at eight thirty, or do we want to take a break now and then come back yeah. and play, please, sketch artist? Uh, Sean, do you want to you, you want to take a break now, like, and then we can try to fix your video? Wait, or do you, you want to? Uh, I don't know that we're gonna fix it. To be honest. I, see. I don't yeah, think yeah. we have an answer. Um, yeah, I tried we... to change the the settings on my end, but I, I don't think it's coming on my end. Mm -hmm. um, uh, whatever, whatever you guys want to do, if you want to try to fix it now, we certainly can. Um, yeah. Video. video settings here let me actually i'm already in here let's, let's just yeah. do please sketch artists till 8 right, and it. then we'll, we'll take like a five minute break and then we'll do the book cover at the end sounds good all right guys uh everybody in the chat we're gonna be doing a um what's called please sketch artists we're gonna it's our best game uh, uh so me and sean have been uh wronged by somebody in the community and we are uh we're just sharing uh we're now gonna be describing to grant in our situation so let me go ahead and get this going. All right. All right, here we go. I got Let me send this over to you. And one second. All right, here. Now, don't look in the chat, Grant. Grant always looks in the chat and <laughs> automatically knows. Okay, check this chat, Sean. Now, click on this. Now, do, hopefully that's the right thing. Okay, do you know who this is? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's, yeah. Yeah, don't yeah, don't say it out loud. So yeah. what the best thing to do, by the way, in this game is that we're gonna just answer the question. Uh and you know, you can't just give it up right away. It, Grant's really good at this. So he's like <laughs> he's really, really good at it. So I try to make it as successful of a like answer as possible, but like just barely. Like I just vaguely want to answer my, questions. My way, dream so. is that uh I get to uh, you know like how there's like private eyes. <laughs> I, I in, instead of a private investigator, I want to be a private police sketch artist. Like I don't, I don't want to be a cop, but I'll, I'll freelance for the cops for a little bit of money. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the chat. Please give us some clues. All Imagine right, if I just like through. went down to my local police station down the street with some drawings, been like, I'm really good. I've like predicted all these cartoon characters. Yeah. Hire me. I'd get arrested immediately. It sounds like a make a wish thing. Where you're like, I wish I was. A, I wish I was downtown at the police station drawing yeah. perpetrators. Yeah. That was your make a wish. It's the next Nelk video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. All right, we're ready to go. I think. Sean, you got it up in front of you. 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 Yep, we took, yep, we took this picture out of. Got it in my mind too. Yep. All right, let's do it. 
Yeah. All right, Sean, is this a uh, guy, a person, a uh, man or a woman? Uh, it's a man, I believe. A man, okay. Uh, I think that's how he identifies, yeah. Lucas, uh, yeah. Don't is the jaw big or is it wide? Thin jaw? He's got chonky cheeks, I would say. Chonky cheeks. Uh, Sean, is this character fat? Uh, he's thick. I wouldn't call him fat. <laughs> thick. Yeah, thick old boy. Right. Thick. Uh, Lucas, describe yep. the eyes of this character. Big. Big. Uh, oval. Is he like got like a shocked expression like this? Uh, no, no. He's just, he's just, he's just really looking at us. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Really wow. looking at us. Yeah. Uh, Sean, <laughs> describe the eyes of this pervert. Uh, very uh kind of wide-eyed and happy i would say no or, or, or sorry uh, not eyes um i zoned out uh <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with me tonight the cruise control is like, eh, yeah, yeah. yeah um sean uh describe the nose and tell them all you learned how to make uh sick i i uh he's not really known for his nose i don't know i wouldn't no really nose know is there there's no nose at all mm. no it's not booberry from the cereal no, no, I don't, I don't no know that's an X is. on you, buddy. Yeah, well, very... I, keep, I get three I choices. I, I keep thinking it's that. Baby. I don't know why. My brain keeps going to Boo hey, Berry. It's never tip. Boo Berry. Um, <laughs> Lucas, is, is uh, uh, Boo Berry wearing a hat? No, he's not wearing a hat. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no hat or anything. It looks yeah, it's so it weirdly it's looks like the top three. of a water balloon. Then it, would you agree? Yeah, that's a PG way of saying that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it's. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, for sure. All right, there you go. Yeah. Little tie thing. Yeah. Um, that's that's good actually. That's pretty yeah. good. Okay, so Sean, uh, describe the mouth of this guy. Uh, kind of uh, dopey and open. Can you do the expression of the mouth? Uh, But wider. <laughs> is there teeth? No. I right. actually this is better. This I guess. What do you get that special? Okay. So wait. No the teeth. No teeth. Watched. Kind of like. Where do you get that special someone that has everything? Yeah, this looks good. Oh. What do you get? Oh snap. Um. That's not. What to get that person? Oh, I guess. That kind of. No. No. Ah oh, <laughs> man. Top's longer than the bottom. What is the best present? The top's longer than the bottom. So is it mm -hmm. like? What do you get yeah, there you go. He's got it right there. Yeah. What do you get the person? Uh, that close. Anybody in the chat give us any clues? I'll pass them on. Uh, yeah, if anybody has anything in the chat, please help me figure out who this is. They say he's got. Uh, it's salad fingers, dude. That's what they say. Oh yeah, it kind of looks like him. Um, it kind of looks like Magic Carp, to be honest. Um, but it's not. Oh, it's it's like tickling my brain. I'm getting closer to it. Uh, Sean, you said there's no teeth at all. No teeth, sir. Is there a tongue? No tongue, sir. Thank you. Um, good boy. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, we will knock off. It's almost like I brought you in from prison and like you know, know knew this guy and like he's gonna, he's gonna hurt me, dude. We're gonna like cut down your sentence. And, <laughs> you sit across from me like some weird German movie. Um, I'm... Uh, Lucas. Uh, What's up? Uh, eyebrows? No eyebrows. No eyebrows. No eyebrows. What color no. is this guy? Well, I would say he. Um, I mean, I would say he's very light complected. He's very fair. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, you want to elaborate on that, Sean? Uh, he's a white guy. A white guy. Yeah, all right. Well, I was trying to. Yeah, he's white. And yeah, Hayden says he's white. Well, he say, right. There's nothing wrong with saying that he's a white guy. I was guy. trying to be a little different. So, yeah. Okay, uh. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Sean, uh, I appreciate that. I, I guess. I don't know. Police ask that. Uh, Sean, uh, is there hair? 
Does he have hair yes. on his head? You know? He's bald. No. Okay. No, he's he's just a white guy. Just a white guy with no teeth and like a weird ass mouth. It looks like he's like, like he's just made of a bag. It looks like a like, hot dog. No. <laughs> Is he a hot dog? No, he's not a hot dog. Oh, no way, no. Uh, he... Sean, what is he wearing? Can you like describe his torso? Uh, he's wearing like um, what are the what are those like pageant things like Miss Hawaii or whatever? He's wearing like a just, just kind a sash. of a, a sash. sash. Yeah. yeah. Oh snap! No. What? Mm, nah, it's not who I thought it was. Um. Well, the sash is throwing me. It's so weird. Will I know this? I feel like I'm not going to know this. If you don't know it, then I i mean, I'm sorry, but... See, you know it. I'm not sorry. It might not be at the top top of your mind. but Yeah, you know. it won't be at the top of your mind, that's for sure. Uh, I'll get it. I'm getting close. I can feel it. He's a Caucasian <laughs> hot dog, what somebody says. That's literally a hot dog, surreal feel says. Yeah. Is, it's a duck. No. Uh, Lucas, is he holding anything? Just your confidence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it seems, what it seems like. Okay, you know what? I'll give you another. He's holding a thumbs up. Yeah. In which hand? Uh, the right hand. Yeah. Yeah. He's tell. giving you the. He's giving you the Here. thumbs up on what you're uh, doing. Uh, yeah, a little higher, but yeah. Right. You're like a stickler with this. You're like a very like passive aggressive informant <laughs> oh me like you're like so no you have to tickle me? it out of me grant yeah. i'm not gonna give it all up at the you're beginning like, I, i'm not gonna tell you right this now. is the most interesting thing of the day i can't get it over really this quick okay okay um fuck. this is hard all right. is he uh, uh, lucas is he wearing pants yep. i wouldn't say he isn't but i will say this he does feel He's very, it looks like he's a bunch of like, well, I mean, how would I say this? He feels very roly. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. That's big enough. Roly? Yeah. yeah. He's like roly. Yeah. A lot of rolls. You know, like one of those dogs that's like really rolled up. Okay. So like, like a caterpillar? <laughs> yeah. 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 Kind of. Yeah. What the F is that? <laughs> that's really good, actually. Yeah. This is so weird. I like have a tickle in my brain that he looks familiar. Okay, Sean. Is... <laughs> He's like, good yeah, job. <laughs> the mouth is what creeps me out, Sean. Yeah. Um, is uh, is he like on a food product, Sean? Muted. Sorry, I muted myself as well. Uh, food product? No. No. Hmm. Not on a food product. Is he Lucas? Is he in movies? I don't know, not well, not primarily. No, somebody oh, in there says he's. Is this a Michelin man? You looked at the comments. <laughs> you looked at the comments. No, I no, didn't. You're right. No, I <laughs> didn't. Yeah. Uh, wait. Good on you. It was the here. Michelin Good man. Look, uh, check the check the chat. Look at the. I mean, check out the Zoom chat. That is the. Right. There's the last. Um, image bring it up next to it yeah, it's pretty pretty goddamn good it's pretty good i will say yeah. congratulations to both of you the mouth it was really confusing me i was like, trying i was trying to do more like you know longer longer top here i'm pulling it up let's see if it opens okay uh i mean i mean you did well like i think you've probably been like the most detailed oh snap okay see? not bad right whoa that is freaky you know why he he looks this way right uh, he ate a bunch of tires. I don't know. Well, tires used to be white, and then they switched uh, to just a stripe, right? It wasn't it just yeah, it was, it was just the rim, right? No, no, they used to be. I'm pretty sure they used to be fully like white. I don't think tires were like white. The whole things were so white. Either. I think just the walls were white. A That's history, a history movie. You never see that. Tires white. It's just the walls. Yeah. You're gonna get some really weird. Okay, yeah, get this. Originally, automotive, automotive tires were off-white in color due to the natural color of the rubber formula used by tire companies. Ah, Z oh, 1917? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, suck it. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Reddit. <laughs> but it wasn't like pure. It was just like off-white, I guess. Like, mm, we're not, real this, field, not this. So yeah, oh, snaps. Look, 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 look. Here, I'll pull up an image. Like, this is what tires used to look like back in the day. Like this shit. Oh, this oh, wow. wow. Trippy, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I oh, so back. white walls were something that were hip because they yeah, were, like they, they gave the same impression. See, that's a white wall. Yeah, that's a right white there. wall. So I was familiar with that. 
But then uh, I I like read Reddit facts like a, like super like on an insane level, yeah. and so I remember that from a Reddit fact. And so mm. like, yeah, they used to just be white and natural thing. So wow. wild. I'm surprised nice. you guys with all the old cars here in, in LA. I thought you guys would have known that, but yeah. well, it just seems like nobody. I don't know anybody that has a white wheeled car. Yeah. It's just gonna instantly get dirty. Like I don't understand yeah, why anybody true. would do that. Like you would have to go home and paint your tires later. Like I don't know. What that's I don't happen. know how yeah, they would I'm, last. Either. You gotta be real OCD so. to take care of that. Yeah. That's All right. Sucks. All right. Yeah, but that's so, why somebody said are... that you you drew the Michelin Man if he was microwaved. <laughs> yeah, it definitely like if he was like a marshmallow, like the Stay Puft yeah. Man, but then he microwaved. That's like that's your child. They got together and they're like Stay Puft and Michelin. <laughs> have you seen this man? <laughs> and then this is the actual dude. <laughs> I'm a terrible police sketcher. Just do uh, that. No, no, no. It's, you want to do the next oh, one really quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do one. All more. right, Sean, I'm going to send another one in the chat. Uh, Take a look. Let me know if you know what that is. Crocs. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Is that good? Can you you can deal with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So I think we're ready to go. Hold on, everybody. All right, everybody, we're doing another police sketch artist. The perpetrator is, and I'll give you guys a link. Hopefully that works. Uh, it just says the perpetrator is. No, is there any? No. No, no I, I see your I see your thing in the chat. It just says the perpetrator is. Oh, oh okay, yeah, maybe yeah, it's not coming no, through. No, 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 it is. Yeah. All right, great, great. All right, guys, if you click that link, you can see what we're going to be describing to Grant. Um, and all right, Grant, I think we're ready to go. You good, Sean? Uh, yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, Sean, is this a man or a woman? Uh, honestly, I'm not. I'm not sure what the gender yep. is. To be honest, unknown. Right, that's good. Unknown. That still helps. Unknown. Uh, unknown. Uh, Lucas, uh, describe yep. the uh, mouth of the assailant. Uh, tepid. No, I mean, um, smirk. Funny. I don't know. I don't know how to say this one. How would you do? Uh, do it with your mouth. He's like. He's like. Mm, tepid. Smug. Like, not impressed, but still having a good time. Yeah, we'll do that. Eh, for, um, yeah, maybe maybe a little happier than that. Yeah, like one one side down, one side up. <laughs> yeah. All okay. Right. Um, does he have uh, Sean? Does he have any hair or a hat? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's covered in covered in hair. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, hair. what's his haircut look like? Uh, I don't know. I'd probably say it's like a number three all around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody, somebody said potato head in the in the description. I don't know. I think they're just describing what you're doing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, and Lucas, is, is yep. he, his hair spiky, or is it like smooth, curly, like oh, mine? Three, it feels smooth three, to me, three, but three, it feels like it's just three, really like this well done. Around. Yeah, that smooth one, all yeah. around as it feels like. Yeah. Is it long? <laughs> No, a three. Did you know what a three is? No, I'm not a barber. Uh, okay, a three is like you know, like a that that long. It's like a quarter inch, maybe. Okay, so yep. like, is it like a flat top on top, or is it it's rounded? Like a, it's like a rounded buzz cut kind of thing. I think it's called a. Everywhere. I think it's called an all top. <laughs> yeah, all top. Yeah. I'm just gonna go like this, I guess. I I can't quite envision it. Um, Sean, mm. uh, describe the eyes. Uh, uh <laughs> big small kind of uh oval uh kind of in between oval and round okay mm -hmm. kind of like if you look at the screen right now kind of doing this yep like you know people to people he's looking like like the perpetrator is looking at us grant but his it, but but the but the face is three quarters from us uh, and looking at it, us. Are we mirrored or something? Because you did the opposite. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it no, not, not you, Lucas. Oh. I mean the, the drawing, right? I think the people are on the other the other side. Oh, yeah, we, I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I didn't say. Either, <laughs> do it. Yeah, if you look at me. I mean, I think it's mirrored then, because like. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me look there you me. go. That that'll work. That's better. Yeah. That's right. that's much. Closer, yeah, I guess yeah. it's mirroring it. Yeah. Um, uh, is this the rock? 
No. It's okay. not The Rock. It's not The Rock. Todd is The Rock. Um, describe the... Sean, or, or uh, Lucas, describe the nose. Ooh, it's a pretty nose. Uh, very pretty. Very... I would say a muzzle. It's very... Uh, I mean, it's like a big, big chunk of coal right there at the end. Yep. Okay. And yeah, yeah, it's 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 protruding a bit. Is it like a dog nose? Kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. Okay. Is this accurate? That's part of the pig <laughs> nose. It's a pig it's nose. A little bit. It's like it's a it's thick. like a it's like an upside down triangle almost. Yeah. Like, yeah, a lot smaller. Okay, so like that. Sort of. So he's mm -hmm. like an animal, kind of. Yes, I would say. Okay. Uh, I mean, technically, it's not, but like, it, but the representation is. I know that's really strange, but. No, yeah. no, I'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. I'm getting closer to it. I can feel it. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Sean, describe the torso, like what he's wearing. Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, he like sure. hairy all over, just covered in hair? Just says, yep, yeah, solid number three all over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is there actually. Actually, I don't think you can actually touch him. You can't touch him. Yeah, I think I think you can actually. I mean, think about it, Sean. Could you actually touch touch him? I mean, could you touch the Michelin Man? Well, you're right. That's a good point. Yeah, it's a good point. But if the Michelin Man was real, could you could touch the Michelin Man? But this, I don't. Even if it was real, you can't touch it. Why not? Yeah, well, that's just that's just the clue I'm putting out there. Can't touch it. That's just yeah. gonna confuse me. Is there yeah. hair on his face or yeah. their face? Yeah. Yeah. Their Is face, there whiskers? Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm Okay, whiskers. Like I can't. Is this? Um, it's not the Cheshire Cat, is it? Mm -mm. No. 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 Do, do they have cat eyes, like slits? No. Um, no. Do you no. have cat ears? Kinda. Sorta. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> like that? It's like uh it's looking like that uh Taylor Swift movie, whatever or the uh cat movie. Yeah. Um doesn't have Jonah Hill's Did you see cats? No, I want to. Though. It's great. It I've seen right. it several times and I still enjoy oh, really? it because it's terrible. Yeah, it's <laughs> but it's so watchable because it's my jam. It's such a high production value. It's such an insane. I've seen it in theaters. I've seen it at home. Still great. There, oh, yeah, there's yeah, only. I'll watch it. Have you ever seen the musical? No. I've never seen the musical. No. Fucking crazy. There's a whole yeah. scene. None of the cats wear clothes except one cat, and he's a railway cat, and he runs mm -hmm. the trains, and it's oh, weird. the best. It's just <laughs> insane. Like Judy Dench, like. She kicks her leg up at one point, and like it's really sexual and weird. It's great. Uh, I'm into it, dude. Yeah, I'm into it. Sounds like your perfect day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Cats. Um, mm. I don't know. This is confusing. So it's just like a cat. What, what's the pose, Sean? What's this cat posing like? Like, uh, let me see if I can get it. Like, like, like where's its arms? Not, I, I we've never seen this thing's arms. You just see yeah. it from its like torso up, it's kind of mm -hmm. like this, huh? Is it wearing any glasses or sunglasses? No, no glasses, no glasses. So it's not the Cheetos cat. No, uh, would this cat be? <sighs> I would say he's rich, maybe. I mean, maybe rich, I'm not sure. His value, yeah. like, yeah, I mean, rich is subjective because it kind of yeah. fluctuates, yeah. Yeah. This isn't the cat that's, like, on the clocks, is it? Clocks? What Garfield clocks? Clock? Yeah, the, the clocks where, they, like, their eyes move. Oh, that one? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh. So it's, like, a famous cat man. Is this well, a cat? No. It, no. It's not a cat. Come on, yeah. You almost got, I think you're almost, you're really close. Like, I don't want to give it away, but we could say one word and give it Is away. Is there but... any clues from the chat? Uh, yeah, but they give it away. <laughs> oh, they give it away too it's much. It's also a scam, some people think. It's a scam? Yeah. What? So and I say you can't really touch it, and yeah, can't, even, you know. Can't touch it, it's a scam. Can't yeah, the, that almighty Seaver comment would definitely give it away. Yep, uh... too much. Throw in the towel. You're... No, I'm close. I can feel it. 
Um, does this cat sell a product? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Maybe. Right. I wouldn't say it's a cat, though. I mean, I wouldn't. I, would, sell, just, I, wouldn't I like does. Does like Tony the Tiger sell the product? Yes. You know what I mean? He like, does. He, he does say they're great. He does. He's, say I mean, great. he's the face of the product. Uh, I, I feel like that's giving away too much. Uh, mm, I don't. I don't know what else to ask because I'm like staring at this demigod that stares <laughs> weirdly, like to the. I don't want to give you too much, but like it's not a cat. Yeah. It's not a cat. Not a cat. An yeah, we're trying to really. Yeah. Oh and man, I, I think I'm like cornered myself with the cat look. It, uh, there's just so you many. Have to change the look. Cats. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so like it's all like it's got the three. It's What's its jaw? Like, do I need to adjust its jawline? Here? It's a chunky jaw. Yeah, it's more of a circle. It's more of a circle. So, like, that might help. It's like a fat. It, it's not like a Sasquatch, is it? Mm, you got, you got no. It. No, it's not. But they're both kind of popular in that way. Okay. And, like, you can't, like, I feel like these ears are tripping me up. Like,. Mm -hmm. They need to be higher on the head. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Oh, yeah. Heck is... I think the uh, the whole kind of thing has to be more of a circle, to be honest. Yep. Mm. It's looking a little too human. Too human. It looks kind of like a Hemingway beard a little bit. And it's kind of more of a three quarters pose. Yeah. Uh... And and the actually the eyes are correct, but they should be looking at us. Like at the camera. In that three quarter pose. Yeah. I think that'll help you. Oh man, it's throwing me off like the three quarter pose. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to redo that. Um, is the nose more like here? Like the this? other side. The other side, okay. So wait, the nose is like this. And then. <laughs> <laughs> very Tony the Tiger. Uh, it does, right? Um, move. It has whiskers. Are, are there fangs? No, no, but they probably would have fangs. Um, uh, let's. I'm trying to think of what else. I, I feel like, like this might give it away, but I think I feel like he's imprisoned. Um, I feel like he's imprisoned in a in a in a in a, in a circle, like he's imprisoned in a circle. It's not yeah. like the the black cat fireworks cat. No, nope, like no. Nope. Mm -hmm. But uh, imprisoned in a circle, I think, really gives us. Draw a circle around him. Yeah, draw a circle around him. What was that one cat, Fritz or Felix the cat? Felix the cat, the mm. wonderful, wonderful cat. Yeah. You laugh so much, your sides the lake, your heart will go pitter to the pit. Oh, that was the last song you sang Felix. to a stranger. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, well, we're not strangers anymore. We're lovers. Um, I know it's true. We are in a, a, in a monogamous now, relationship buddy. at the moment. Yeah. Is it? It's not Fritz the cat. No, nope. nope. I think it's, it's not a cat. It's not, not a cat, cat at all. It's not the Cookie Crisp werewolf. <laughs> no, werewolf would be kind of a cat. Somebody says you could buy products with this cat. <laughs> That's what somebody said. But it's not uh, a cat. That's not a cat. You can buy products. Of, it's not. Is this like a Wish.com mask? No, you can't. You can't touch it. It is, it's real. Is it Dogecoin? It's Dogecoin, yeah! finally! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, click the link in uh, the chat. That was hard. That one was really hard. I don't know why, but I had such a difficult time. Animals are harder, I feel like. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, I mean, this wasn't a well-known thing. I just thought it was topical. No, no, it was good. It was, it's it was well known. One. It is well known. I just suck. You got too attached <laughs> to the cat part of it. That's yeah. what happened. I got like, ah, <laughs> he's Pretty not good. having a good time. Yeah, like, it's got, good. He's not having a good time. He's cautious. Those dogs scare me because I feel like they bite. So I'm I'm scared of, <laughs> of Shiba Inus. Um, very pretty though. Um, okay, I I have a pitch for Comedy Central. If Comedy anybody from Comedy Central is listening. Uh, please allow Lucas and I to create our own crypto called uh, Chappelle Coin. I really want to make it. It's going to say uh, I'm rich, biatch, on it. Yep. I, I really, really want you us to let 
us promote the stream and promote Chappelle coin. So let's start a letter writing campaign, people. Yeah, and we'll and we'll pay we'll 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 pay good clues with Chappelle's coin. It'd be great. Chappelle yeah, coin. yeah, yeah, you'll earn Chappelle coin as you play these games. Um, we're gonna play take a quick uh, like two minute break. I, it's, mm -hmm. We're getting closer to the end. Uh, do we just want to hang tight for the last fifteen minutes and do the book cover and then call it a day? Yeah, mm. yeah, that's fine. Or do you guys need a break? You need. I, I actually need a break. I'm so sorry. I'll be right back if you okay, want yeah, to. I you could. Uh, I could pee real quick. Let's do yeah, a two let's... minute pee break or five minute pee break. I'm gonna grab another beer right. and then uh, we'll be back in five minutes. All okay. Right. All right, great. Cool. Thanks, guys. We'll be
All right. And All right. Back. Hey, everybody. Um, uh, give oh, us a thumbs up oh. if you are if you can hear us. <laughs> they should be able to. I believe so. Uh, yeah, now we're at the final stretch of the stream where uh, we put uh, Sean on his own so book. Maybe, maybe like... It's my um, dream, dude. Let's your, go. your own kind of like I mean, memoir. Or... <laughs> yeah, what, what, yeah, what kind of books are you reading or what kind of books do you like to read, Sean? Uh, lately, none. Uh, audio, uh, you know, philosophy books, stuff like that. Nice. Are you a big audiobook guy? Uh, lately, yeah. Lately, yeah. What, what have you been listening to? Audible. Uh, let's see. We got Rich Dad Poor Dad. Uh, we got. Uh, <laughs> let's see what we got. Let me look. Who's your favorite, the Rich Dad or the Poor Dad? The Rich Dad. Come on now. <laughs> the Poor Dad sucks. He's like he really doesn't. He's just awful. Let's see. Uh, oh man. Um, the, the, no, these books are way too revealing of my personality. I can't give them out. Um, oh, hey, Mr. John, for being in the chat. It's been a minute. What's everybody in the chat reading right now? Yeah, anybody read anything in the chat? Besides, you know, I used to uh, things I miss reading as a child. I miss re I miss reading the backs of like uh, cereal boxes. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, like, that was so fun. That was really fun to me. I thought that was really great. I agree. Yeah, kids don't do that anymore. You know, actually, I think that's what I would do if I just had infinite money, obviously. Then I would make a website that just has, like, it looks, it's just all those old games, but just, like, an infinite amount of, uh, the like, the backs of all these cereal boxes. And you just keep, you could keep going through all of them. Aww. And and you can, you could sit there and you can interact with them, you know, and they have the texture to them. It's like they're actually cardboard. And they just wipe it or go to the next one. It'd be really fun. I love that. Yeah. I love the nostalgia factor, man. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, give me that pink outline I got. Oh, um, have you give guys me that sunburn? <laughs> oh, beautiful. people say listening to the books isn't reading. Says Mr. John. I uh, kind of agree. I, I, disagree. I agree too. It's better than nothing. I completely <laughs> disagree because the way your mind processes the knowledge from the books is the same way your brain would process it and retain it as reading it. Uh, there's no difference. So the educational value you're getting from listening to a book, I actually think it is a great tool for people who are dyslexic and helps them, you know, expand their mind and learn. Um, as a person who's pretty dyslexic, I, I love them. Same. I'm like too, um, a little too like ADD to read a book. So I'll like look at it. I'll have, you know, technically read it, but I won't have retained any of it. Uh. Hmm. I I'm the opposite. I'm I feel like audio. everything that I read, I I like absorb it like a weirdo God, sponge. Yeah, like it's like yeah. sits in my brain for like ever. And then like at parties, I just like diarrhea my book knowledge onto people. <laughs> like at the Starbucks, and you're just like, I just I'm making you your order. Quit telling me all these things. Actually, white wall tires aren't just white wall. <laughs> Roadie oh, sorry, Bucks. I'm, uh, uh, I'm Grant, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Rody Bucks says Hampton Sides. <laughs> <laughs> you would be on a live stream. Uh, uh, Rody Bucks says Hampton Sides, Blood and Thunder. That's what he's reading. Ooh, what's that about? Cool. Blood and Thunder is a pretty good. It, it, it actually Blood and Thunder sounds like two wrestlers that that you know found a matchup at the oh. Four Corners. You know what I mean? Like no, Blood that... and Thunder, and they show up at the Four Corners to wrestle. It sounds like you a know. great tag team. Oh, that's good. I love that. Yeah, but if Sean, if this was your memoir, what, what would you like to call it? What do you think would be a good thing? Oof, um, man. Uh, I'd like to get hit by a truck. <laughs> I know that's literally where my brain was going. It was like you know, philosophy of a car crash. Uh, ah, there you go. Um, hit and gosh. fun, <laughs> like oh. hit and fun, uh, hit and done. Ah, hit and done. Uh, good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Dogecoin is not a cat. Um, Dogecoin is not a cat, yeah. <laughs> Mr. John Pushes Backs is a... Uh, um, he's reading the Army Survival Guide. From what Ooh. year, Mr. John? <laughs> In what army? <laughs> In what army? <laughs> Get with it. It's like the Bosnian like army. <laughs> army Survival Guide. <laughs> like, uh-oh. It's like chew on this shotgun shell, and you're like, "What? <laughs> How does that work?" The Red Army. It's like eat the dead. <laughs> oh man, bummer. 
What color are your eyes, Sean, for our, our viewers? Uh, gosh, uh, like hazel, like brown hazel. to between brown and green. Yeah, Riley Reed got mad at me because I made her eyes, I think I made her eyes blue and she's like, my eyes are green. And I was like, uh, uh, you look like black dots on the zoom. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, your eyes look kind of like spooky. Kind of cool. Well, yeah, those look like red eyes, but I'm in. Yeah, there. they're red, they look brown. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, kind of like a, yeah, they are red, dang. Add a little brown in there. Lucas, what color are your eyes? Uh, they change. They change, actually. Uh, from they change, change from stream to stream. Yeah, they do. They change from green <laughs> to gray, or uh, gray to green, and then green to blue sometimes, just depending. And I have, I forget what it's called, but uh, one eye is a different color than the other, very slightly. Oh, well, that's so, cool. Yeah, I forget what it's called. It's really neat when, like, when there's really like neat. I mean, or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that, where, like, one eye, I, I think so one can be a little bit gray and the other one could be very blue or green and uh um so people look at me like oh my gosh <laughs> but uh yeah it works out these yeah and if this was your memoir sean like what would like is there anything else you would want like it to be or just your picture of your face there um yeah honestly it'd probably just be my face maybe like uh like a wiener dog or something next to me. So you saw some of those. They were great. Is this the dog uh, you plan to get after the stream for your walks? Oh yeah. No, no. Those are the ones I had for like you know 15 years or so. I had two. I had two wiener dogs. Oh. Oh. What were their names? Yeah. Bob and Frank. Oh, uh -huh. that's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I like the. I mean the names. You know. Yeah. Bob yeah, and yeah. Frank. <laughs> What if I was like, that sucks. You're too <laughs> <laughs> F you for having those dogs. Bob and Frank. Block yeah, me immediately. That, that, you're such a bitch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> well, we just roast you. Like We're like, wait, we made you fall in love with us and now we make you- Got me in this thruple and you just like ended, dude. We just break you down. You're, this is run by silent, 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 silentology. <laughs> So, uh, it's the unthruppling. It's the dyslexic <laughs> branch of science. Yeah, I'm going to go clean some toilets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toothbrush. Have you ever had any run-ins with the Church of Scientology? Um, like, have you ever walked into, like, a burrito place, been like, this is a great burrito place, and then be like, oh, wait, it's run by the Church of Scientology? I mean, I live in that area very, very close to all of that. Um, mm -hmm. I've certainly walked by that stuff all the time, and honestly, they've, they've never... Um, all those people have just been like, cause you know how I was saying earlier, like everybody um, on my walks, like doesn't say hello back to me and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, those people all, always do. I'm like, hey, well, okay, okay. But um, no, they like, still scare me a little bit. Yeah, what's up man, like I've been here. We like um, your videos. We want we, we want you to make some cool videos. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we make um, you a star, Ian. <laughs> but no, I've, I've, I've had a couple people in my life who I, like just like months later like oh you know i'm actually a scientologist and I was like, oh man uh i've unsuccessfully been you know recruited you're unsuccessfully recruited so, yeah. i haven't i haven't been recruited I'll, I'll you haven't that. been recruited yeah, 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 yeah. i see I, I, there 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 have been some some uh some people have tried yeah let me ask you a question if you got invited to a party at the celebrity center to meet a bunch of celebrities I'm not, I'm at the going. scientist would you go or not i'm not, I'm not going. even out of no but like not even out of morbid curiosity to go in to see even what's inside of the celebrity center i don't think I don't it's know. i think i think it's just a room with some people i don't think they're revealing anything to people that aren't aren't in on it like but what uh -huh. if they got good I'm, chips i mean yeah. you know J jason lee does the cool kickflip and like i like his movies and stuff but like yeah. i'm not uh, i'm not going in there i see yeah I was like, they're like, they're like, we got sun chips. I'm like, well, I mean, shit, uh, I'm, I'm ready for a show. Subway, yeah. <laughs> we, we're in we got an eight foot sub. You're like, oh shit. Oh, uh, okay, I'm in. I'm in. Turkey cheese. <laughs> Let's go. Like, but it's veggie, and you're like, no. Oh well, yeah, you bummer. Lost yeah, lost me. Uh -huh. They start micro or microwaving raviolis. And you got me back. You don't have my video <laughs> yeah, back. You got, but you me, got back. me back. We have all of your favorite foods. Forever. They start <laughs> like, luring you in. I mean, honestly, it can't be that bad. Once you're, uh, if you're at a certain level, I'm sure it's fine. Mm. I want to make a movie with Damn, you, Sean, where we find out that you are the long lost son of L. Ron Hubbard. 
That'd and, be sick. And now they, they, <laughs> they foresee you as the uh, the second coming of their messiah. I'm Which in. is Ron Hubbard. The second coming of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah like third, you're, third coming, you're, whatever. Yeah. You're him incarnate. Do you, do you lead these people? <laughs> or do you like just fuck off? Like I, I need to. Uh, honest. I mean, if I'm being honest, it probably depends on where I am financially. Um, uh. Though, like, if uh, you know, I'm not doing too good. When that comes about, I'm like, yeah, okay, let's. Uh, yeah. Do some storytelling. Yeah, let's see what kind um, of chips you get. Uh, yeah. Mr. John said he'd go if they had a Sonic inside. I think Ooh. I would go if there was a Sonic inside because that would be the closest Sonic. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say we don't have those here. Yeah, what? They were like, "Here's that? a Route 44 Cherry Limeade now, but you have to hold on to this E meter for three minutes." I'm like, "Fucking read me. <laughs> my E! Give me that read Route me, 44 beep. Cherry Limeade, Jesus Christ!" That's my dad's favorite too. Is oh, the really? Cherry limeade. Yeah, he's obsessed with it. And Sean, you ever go to a Sonic? Uh, yeah, once or twice, like traveling. Oh my God, I grew up with a Sonic. Driving for a change, I am. I loved it. <laughs> is, is, is rallies the like uh, California version of Sonic? Is that sort of the same? I don't think they're the same at all, but I think yeah. rallies is trying to do something in the same vein. Are they owned by the same people? No, I don't think so. Uh, okay, I'm not, not I think Sonic's a stand-up like, company. I'm just like, <laughs> like, like, uh, like Hardee's and Carl's Jr. are the same. Oh thing. yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, yeah, somebody says Sonic Sonictology. <laughs> like, Wait, I don't are know. Hardee's that, and Carl's Jr. the same? Yeah. Yeah, they're well, they're owned by the same. Thing. Like like uh like Panera Bread and then there's like the St. Louis Bread Company like that's the same exact thing. Oh, I see. What? Uh, <laughs> Great yeah. Spike. Losing. Everything. I I can't. I have to. I can't. I can't be in here. You gotta go. <laughs> I, I, everything's the <laughs> war. <laughs> you're, 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 what's real anymore, man? <laughs> it's Carl's. It's Hardy's. Carl's Jr.'s dad. <laughs> Something like that. Is every Panera? Based out of St. Louis, like yes, <laughs> it's like um my least favorite Louis. And he's like, <laughs> next thing you're gonna do is tell me that Hungry Jacks in Australia is Burger King. <laughs> is that actually true? Uh huh. Yeah. The they... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, no. Now I know that. Now I can picture the logo. It's still the burger, but it says Hungry Jacks. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I only know that because there was like a um. Australian YouTuber I really liked, and he would always riff on that. So, you know, great content. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, bud. I mean, I like, I, I like what you're doing with the wiener dog. I like, I like the, That's uh, good. This reminds good. me of Pink's. Have you ever been to Pink's, Sean? Yeah, I'm a Carney's guy. I don't like Pink's. Pink's doesn't have a snap in the dog. It's too, like, just, like, mushy. I don't like it. I, like uh, I see. Have you, been to, have you been to Carney's? I have not been to Carney's. Where's is it good? Carney's is the is the one that looks like a train. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I I've been in there once. We uh, I but I think it was very drunk and we were in there and I don't know what I ordered or if I ate anything. Okay. So. No, I, I I love Carney's. I was there like uh, I don't know, five days ago. Pink's, I I'm not a Pink's fan. It's a Pink's it's a railroad Pink's. car right there on on Hollywood, right? Yep, yep, yep. On Hollywood Sunset, Yeah. Grant, we should go there. Yeah, let's do it. And, Pitch everybody hit, Sonictology. Hit <laughs> like, can you interest you in a new Sonic idea? Sonictology, yeah. where it's a religion based off the restaurant. Sonic. Would you like some ocean water and some cheddar peppers? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Do you want some uh, tachos? You ever had tachos? That was taco a new... taco nachos. Uh, no, uh... no. So Sonic had a new thing. So they had just opened a Sonic by my parents' place, and Maryland didn't have Sonics forever. And like right when I moved to LA, uh, they like had open Sonics in Maryland. And like my dad loved Sonic. We used to go when when I lived in Texas, we would go all the time. And they the new thing that they're like shooting into people's mouths is uh, tachos, which is tots <laughs> has nachos. Okay, oh, that sounds delicious. It, it does sound it's, good. It's the best. I think about it a lot. Um, I used to go to like this knockoff, this really cheesy tourist trap in New York yeah. um, called Trailer Park Lounge, and it was like okay. uh, it was like based. Uh, it was like if the food was Sonic, and then they just poured a whole bottle of like really shitty tequila into every uh -huh. margarita, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, you'd like have two, and you'd be like knocked out. Yeah. Like I drank a whole pitcher and I like almost passed out. It was like pretty wild. And the place is mm. super kitsch. They would have tachos. But then Sonic started doing it. It blew my fucking mind. I miss them. I honestly, if I had a food truck, I'd just sell tachos out of it. You'd probably mm. do pretty good depending on where you pulled up. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think anywhere you pull up, I'd buy some tachos. If I saw that, I'd be like, what's a tacho? And they're like, it's tots and it's blah. I'm sure I'll fucking pay, whatever. Just take all the money from it's this. It's your new life. Take That's what I would say. And I would have you get into my tacho van and be like, you work for me now. Yeah, you're like, did you know that there's 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 different levels of tachos? I'm like, sure, yeah, let's yeah, keep going. Yeah, very Scientology-esque. I love yeah. it. I'm going to read your E. I'm like, cool. All right, tachos. What's the what's the title of this bad boy? Yeah, what do you think of Sean? Uh, there anything that you liked? Gosh, um, there was there was one or two things that I liked. Um, it's got to be something about like it's got to be some sort of a. I mean, I really don't like puns and wordplay, but I feel yeah. like there's got to be something with like wieners and like uh, like the duality of life here. Uh, but uh, what is it? Uh, a chat. Do my, you have any ideas? Yeah. You guys got. We might be able to help you. Fever. What do you got there, bud? They just said tachos. That's <laughs> just literally tacho, said. <laughs> tacho, my, uh, oh, man. Uh, gosh, what could it be? My life in the Wienermobile. Uh, oh, that's um, not bad. Oh, yeah. my God. I, I saw the other day. I have a video of it, and it's been oh, sitting on my phone. Let me pull it up. It's it's not um, an inappropriate video like we've had. <laughs> <laughs> um check out this mobile that i saw drive oh where is it i'm like i'm like i'm not a fan of anybody putting their phone up to the screen anymore <laughs> you, you uh, was it oh my god here it is it's check out this i don't know if anybody can see it but look what drove oh a peanut? peanut peanut mobile i didn't yeah. know that was a thing oh weird yeah weird as shit it was like a huge Very peanut. 70s yeah, I was just like walking around and this, on the Sunday and giant peanut car just drives by. Oh, Tacho Life. I like that. Uh, yeah, that's good. Tacho, tacho Life. Says. Tacho Tacho Man. That's good. Tacho Tacho Man. Tacho. Something Tacho for sure. Um, tacho Life. <laughs> tacho tacho life. life. Like Nacho Life. I like yeah. that. Tacho Life. Tacho Life. Tacho. Yeah. Life. I like that. That's I like pretty good. That a lot. That's very Googleable. Like tacho it. life. Oh man, there's no tachos on at all. Now I want tachos. I think I'm gonna. Make Me tachos too. Tonight. I'm hungry, man. I gotta order some food. <laughs> yeah, I'm now. starving. I'm gonna Google tachos and see if they make it. But uh, yeah, that's our stream. I'll send you this book, and you can uh, put it on your wall or tattoo it to your body. I'll probably um, tattoo it. Yeah. Let's look at. I want to look that's back nice. at uh, some of your sick uh, doodles. We got. Um, you eating nice. some barbecue, looking Heck yeah. amazing. With, We're uh, bonding, getting hit by a car. I love it. Yep, yep. Guys, cool sea turtle who's going to just sniff the meats off of you. Um, yeah, and we guessed uh, the <laughs> Dogecoin. <laughs> the Doge, terrible. Doge. That coin, yeah. That This is where we need to turn this into stream coin. So, you know, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Tails yeah. coin. Um, but yeah, man, thanks for doing the stream. Is of there course. anything? Thank you guys for having me. It was great. It was a real pleasure. We'll have to uh, shroom at Universal Studios. Oh, dude, I would love it. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> I show up it. in full Harry Potter regalia. Uh, I mean, that would be like easier to not get messed with. So it'd be great. <laughs> oh, man. Um, is there anything you'd like to promote? Uh, no, it's uh, Mr. Sean Baird on everything. Um, you know. Yeah, everybody, please check out his. Uh, what What would you want want them to go and check out more? Your your TikTok or your Instagram? Instagram or TikTok, it's the same stuff. Yeah, I, I watch yeah. all all his Instagrams. Uh, Sean, yeah, your Instagrams are great. Yeah, he he makes these amazing uh, like videos. Uh, they're just so weird, <laughs> in, yeah. in a great way. They're like really <laughs> well put together and really smart, and uh, Thank you. just he, they're super funny too. Uh, please check out uh, Mr. Sean Barrett uh, on Instagram and TikTok, all that. Please give him a follow, a like, all that. His stuff's super funny. Uh, and then, Lucas, anything you want to promote? Yeah, follow Sean Barrett. Hey, that's <laughs> Fucking yeah. do that. Bye. That's great. Hey, yeah, and come, come see us at the stream whenever you can. It's fucking yeah, great. Yeah. It's so fun. Uh, hit that uh, subscribe uh, and the like yeah. button, uh, Tales from the Trip comes out every other Wednesday. We came out this Wednesday. Uh, so two Wednesdays from now, we'll be putting out another Tales from the Trip with Riley Reed. Uh, uh -huh. So that'll be pretty sick, uh, finishing that up. And uh, yeah, and uh, thank you. And uh, 
be be kind to people, I guess. <laughs> that with the recorder. <laughs> it's so pathetic, I love it. <laughs>